Okay, so we're going to make a movie in iMovie. And you go up to the top to your project library and click on that. And then go over here and click on this little plus. And this box will come down and ask you what do you want to name the project. So I'm going to name it Natural Art. And then click Create and then you go down and you search for your clips that you want to use. So I'm going to take, you take your cursor and you click and drag to get your clip and then again click and drag and drop it right in, in there. That's all you do. Okay, so you left click and drag it across your um, movie and if you can't get it all like that and you've already let go of the clicker go right up here to edit this is an e another another way it's kind of easy select entire clip and the computer does it for you so then you just click and drag and drop it into the top so now all of my all three of my clips are up there and I want to put a title in Okay, so I go over here to title. My favorite one that I like to use, and I think it looks very professional, is this sideways drift. So I'm going to click and drag it, and I'm going to put it at the beginning. And I'm going to choose black for my background, and then my title you type that in Oops. you can change the fonts just go up to the fonts here well first of all you need to uh, highlight them let's say I'm going to use fun and the marker that's a fun one and the size is over here and it's 64 I'm going to keep that so I'm going to do the same with the art 64 keep it and then push done so there's my title natural art now I can just go like leave it like that or I can go over here and get a transition and I happen to like the cross dissolve so I'm going to click and drag it up between the two and I think I want to make that a little bit longer. It's only it, it's only five seconds. So I'm going to go to transition. I'm going to click on this little wheel thing and choose transition adjustments. And right here you can change the duration. Okay. So let's go back and see what that looks like. And then you just hit your space bar to find out. Okay. That looks fine. So I'm going to put, go ahead and put all my transitions I should say and they should all be 10 because I had that little box clicked I want some music to go with that so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to um, well I'm in my iTunes but you can choose from iMovie sound, live sound effects they have you know all kinds of stuff you gotta go in there and play and listen to stuff and hear it Just don't be afraid to click on stuff. Just go do it. But I'm going to go to iTunes because I think I want to use... It's cold outside. I'm going to use the Frost Waltz. And you just click and drag it and put it where you want the music to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where the music ends and I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to say trim to selection and that's going to get rid of that so now my movie is as long as my music I use this guy for my uh, outro so I'm going to grab a little bit of this sky and I'm going to put it up there and then I'm going to make this sky go for 30 seconds because that's about how long my my outro uh, music is 30 seconds okay 
and um, oh I'm going to go down here and find my outro yep outro 20 seconds so when you're grabbing these things down here I found it's easier if you kind of move to the left or right to get them to come out click and drag now I'm going to put my outro music there and I'm going to do trim to selection again well actually I'm not going to do that now I'm going to go here and get on this little wheel again clip adjustments and I'm going to speed it up a little there you go so now my sky will go really fast but it'll look cool okay now I have my title and I have my body and I have my transitions and now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get my um, outro which is the pixie dust I always use the pixie dust I love that I'm going to put that right on top of my sky and then I'm going to type in my signature I love you bigger than the sky productions and click done and then I like that to go to a be at a certain point in the music oops I want this music okay let me let me I'm gonna listen to it oops I have to stop it because what I forgot to do was I have to go to this little wheel again on the video and go to audio adjustments because there's some sound coming from that video that I do not want to be heard. So now let's try it. No. Okay, this is getting on my nerves. Okay, there we go. I couldn't grab it. All right, now I have to do the same with this video because all of my, I don't want any of that audio, I don't think, from any of those, those clips. Actually, I'm probably going to go and take this particular video and um, I'm going to import it into GarageBand and I'm going to edit it. Um, I'm probably going to put some voice over to it. I can't talk and do do this at the same time. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be a terrible, terrible how-to video. <sighs> okay, let's watch it. Let me see if this. Okay, this is not long enough. So. I'm going to click on the little wheel again, clip adjustments, I'm going to make that a little bit longer, let's say 10 seconds, click done, and now look, go to the beginning, hit my space bar, a nice smooth transition. Okay, now another thing you want to go to the cropping and rotation and see what's going on in there and where you want to put that you can put decide where you're going to put that on your video or you don't even have to have it you can just go fit you can click on fit or crop or you can do the Ken Burns and that's where they give you a start which is the green and you put that where you want and then you put the red where you want and that's where you end. That's very professional that Ken Burns stuff. It's what they use in the real videos or real movies. To get it on YouTube you go up here to share you can choose how you want to share it and that's how you would do it. You click on YouTube and then you'll fill out your um, username and your password and click you know, just follow the directions. It's really simple. I hope this helps you.